going to have a look at the AAT's practice assessment for spreadsheets. This time, practice assessment number two as per the February 2018 version. I'll do 2.1 first, take about 20 minutes, and then 2.2 in a separate video. Just a quick reminder, it'll only take a minute or two. Section one doesn't have indirect tax in it anymore, and the new version, no changes to the spreadsheet syllabus, but there are more costing based tasks in the spreadsheet section we'll go over that later and section two the spreadsheet section is now only two tasks less duplication and quite worryingly half an hour less time so technique is going to be everything so yes uh, still got a hundred percent pass rate but some only just um, i don't think that will last past the end of this month or when the results from this month come through and this i've got a couple of students uh, they sit there on the left arm chewing their fingernails, clicking away merrily with their mouse as if they're on Facebook. They're going to be on section or two. They might get through the first section. When they get onto spreadsheets, they'll probably still be on task one point B when it runs out of time. And a lot of it will be wrong. Um, even more sessions to help students who haven't passed last year and it just seems to be this bad technique that's endemic um, and yes bad technique means not passing. Just to remind you, there are no school teachers with 30 years plus of spreadsheets for accounting and also health and safety. So this is only the quick good habits. You'll see me using them all the time. Use the keyboard to select shift key plus arrows. If it's a couple of cells, that's fine. Use the mouse, but by and large, you're in control. And this is what it's all about. Control R for filling your formula to the right. You select how far you want it to go. Control R, you are in total control. If you go a little bit too far, a little bit less, less with the mouse, you sometimes end up starting again. Control D for filling formally downwards. Just watch out. Absolute references, both for going across and down. And don't use the page down button, that doesn't work either. Uh, type in the cell references, it will highlight the cells that you're referring to, so you know it means the cell. If you try clicking cell references with the mouse, a lot of people find they just slightly miss it or they drag the mouse a little bit and that's when it causes problems. The only time you'll end up clicking on a, a reference or a cell with a mouse is, is if you're going from sheet to sheet. Even then you could type in a, a long formula. Uh, accuracy is speed and make sure you know the difference between absolute and relative references. Uh, just watch out because some functions like the paste link that will be used uh, formulae are absolute when they come in. Most though aren't. Uh, the AT answers are downloaded in February. I haven't checked uh, a few minor errors. I won't make those errors. And obviously we do know that with all the increasing cost in the feedback from April students uh, is that things like cash budgets, absorption cost in flex budgets and long term decision investment appraisal, they've all been done on the spreadsheets. So my students have had lots of practice on the old AAT papers. Um, I teach anything like that from a spreadsheet anyway and try and get students to do that uh, throughout the year wherever possible. Uh, although I did have a few ill-advised students moaning that I did everything on spreadsheets. Well, they haven't come to the synoptic and realised the benefits of a teacher showing them everything on spreadsheets from day one. Uh, bear in mind, spreadsheets were invented for accountants. If you don't like them, um, you might want to think about uh, a career change. So this is as downloaded uh, from AAT. However, I've already carried out the first instruction. It's only saving it with my name, AAT number and the date. But what I have done is copy it. Now, that way won't work in the exam. It's a bit unreliable. So on the task, move or copy, create a copy, and that gives you a second copy within the same workbook, you'll then need to move it into a new book, and that gives you a copy that you can move over to the right or the left, whichever way you prefer, um, and then you can highlight bits and it doesn't change your original version. For the purpose of this video though, I have enlarged it a little bit and changed the typeface. It's not a good idea in the exam because what will actually happen, I'll close that one, is that some of the rows of instructions narrow up and all the wording doesn't show uh, when you do that. Obviously I've made sure they do for this assessment purpose. 
uh, some of these data missed and I was wondering why it wasn't coming out the right answer when I first practiced it. So on with the instructions then, so that's not a, an assessed actually mark, there's no marks allocated for saving it correctly, that just helps. So task 1A, 2.1A, complete the pro formula for the budget. subtotal cost seems for that as negative so the costs need to be subtotal that's fine so uh, we're on a spreadsheet so of course you need to be using formulas so the sales will be the volume times the selling price could be the other way around selling price times volume same answer and then the cost of sales again is B4 times the cost gross profit is the revenue okay. it's still there. Uh, then we've got wages uh, wages rent admin they're in the right order actually so if I just do subtotal part. So subtotal is a function. It will do averages, count, all sorts of things. We want the sum, the easiest one. The reason why we use the subtotal is because if we've got lots of subtotals through an exercise, you'll see this more on task 2.2 actually, um, it, it ignores it and it doesn't duplicate sums but I'm not sure why this needs to be a sum total. This is just B18 seems pointless. Now that hasn't come out as negative and it wanted it as negative according to the instructions although the answers don't show it to negative. It definitely says negative there. It's there. Negative. So Easier to do afterwards. Put the brackets around it. But at least that means what I'm going to do for the total. An auto sum. And that's not right because it should be 75,000. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's sad. better. So that's our first seven marks earned. Having spotted my own mistake. We're now on the revised section. So this one the instruction is a bit more complicated. Uh, assume the table this is the changes and there's also a little bit in the instructions about uh, somebody costing uh, an annual cost of forty thousand uh, this is a six monthly budget so it'll be half of that. So just read the question carefully. Average selling prices, volume, everything's going to change. Uh, first of all then it wants new figures. doesn't want the figure in C6 is actually there so that's okay. Uh, sales volume, it's just going to be B4 times. Simplest way it's going to go up by 10%, other ways of doing it of course. This one's going on 5%. That one's already done. Uh, the shop staff. It's only 6 months, which is why I've divided the 7, uh, 40,000 by 2. The admin overheads is just going up by £2,500. So that's the first part done. Revise the edit cell round up function. So it's a bit of a weird one again. So C5 is the average selling price. Places. 
currencies, however, this is formatted as currency, so although we're rounding it up to the nearest pound, it's not displaying it to the nearest pound, that's not a problem, the formula's correct, it goes round up, there the zero is. Freeze the worksheet, we want to see A1, 2, C10, just something missing off, uh, that's C10, but actually I need to go to there to freeze the pages because it will freeze to the left and upwards on the view, freeze page, not the favourite way, doing it up for window splits, that means the top bit always stays there and there's no scroll bar there. If you used window split to be a scroll bar, sometimes that's useful, sometimes it gets in the way. Uh, how far are we doing? 13 marks, so far revised, complete the revised budget. And again, the subtotals, it's not quite the same layout, so I can't, unfortunately, just simply copy formulas. That would be nice. Got to start again, C4. Here's our new sales revenue. See, it's all big, see, it's all of that. Gross profit. I'll make the same mistake again. Just the same subtotal formula. Twenty two B twenty three. I think it nicely highlights it when you type in cell references. And again, we really need that to be a minus figure because the instruction says First of all, revise contribution per unit. Revise contribution, that's the selling price. Minus cost. And now we need our formula. So, fixed cost plus target profit divided by contribution. Now, because we've got a minor symbol here, we need to, that's possibly why the AAT answer doesn't have a minor symbol in it. And then just divide that by, again, contribution, 12,000. Units, not sales revenue. Oh, I've probably done the answer, I can't remember. Ooh. And now they have changed it. use C24 because it had a minor symbol because we follow the instructions in so you either follow the instructions and it makes this formula easy or you don't mm. so anyway just watch out it was formatted as currency 
that would have been a lost mark. So now we need the percentage change in budgeted sales. We're not quite convinced about this part of the task. So formulas, percentage change from current budget from both sales, that's nice and easy. Um, <coughs> equals the sales, so the sales in the new budget is C15. And the difference, we have the two, pull it up from there. So the increase is £264,000. If we put brackets around it, it's all about safe technique divided by the original figure. It gives us pound zero. Hmm. Try formatting it as a percentage, that's better. And it also wants it to two decimal places, just displayed to two decimal places. to two decimal places. And the profits, now the profits have gone up from 75,000 to 191,000, that's a pretty big increase. It's gone up by 120,000 or so, so equals minus. So that's the increase in profits. It's not formatted right, we want it as a percentage to two decimal places, that sorts that one out. It's an increase of £155,000. So the last little bit, an if formula. And that's been open because I've been practicing the logical testing. The self 32 doing the nice budget. It's the sales, not the profits. Obviously, it's way over 15%. So if B32 is greater than 15%, they're going to get a bonus to be paid. Not sure. Catalyzation marks. Uh, no bonus. And of course, they get a bonus. Uh, can we test that? Well, yes, we could actually. We could just fiddle the sale. So if it was, that's a minus, no bonus. Obviously, undo it instantly and save and upload.